Hi everybody, this is Chad for Outside Supply. And today I want to talk to you about uh, one of the products we carry, which is the Tellular SX5E GSM Fixed Terminal. Uh, not probably number one on your list of uh, Christmas gifts, but it's actually a very neat device. What it does is takes a regular cell phone service, uh, in this case a GSM phone service, uh, insert your SIM, into the uh, Tellular device and then you can start using standard desk phones like this. Uh, what I'd like to do is show you one, how to insert the SIM into the device and uh, explain a little bit about uh, how the service works. Well GSM service bases uh, most of its service and all of the different parts of your account on a little SIM. You've probably seen them. They're uh, the little gold backed uh, device that slides into phones. Uh, a lot of times it'll store your phone book and different information like that. And it allows you to move your service from device to device. Well, one of the things that the, the Tellular SX5E GSM has is a socket right in the back that allows you to go ahead and insert that SIM. So what you do is go ahead and flip that back up, insert your SIM so that the gold contacts will be down and uh, we'll get a close-up view of that here as well in just a second. Um, when you insert this SIM down, the corner edge, there's a notch inside the device. So let's go ahead and get a close-up of that, uh, of that uh, SIM socket right now. Okay. If you notice, the notch in the corner is going to be the, the notches here and you'll see a corresponding notch here. So when you go ahead and push the SIM down, just slide the, co the connector in and it'll work. We'll go ahead and plug the cap back on and now we have our cellular uh, ready to uh, be connected to power. So what we'll do is put the antenna up. The power connector and all your other connections are here on the side of the cellular unit. If we can get a zoom in on this as well. A little bit closer in. A little bit closer. All right. This is a side uh, connections for the SX5E GSM fixed cellular unit. Uh, if you notice, you have uh, starting on this side your antenna. This is a serial port connection that all you do is uh, plug in a serial uh, cable into it and you can send SMS messages as well as uh, program the Tellular uh, using uh, an AT command like uh, HyperTerminal or uh, another software like that to log in on the terminal. Then you have your uh, phone port and your fax port. If we could get a little closer zoom, I want you to be able to see the difference. It's important to realize that this is the actual, if you can see the phone on it, that is the actual phone port, and the second port over this way will be your fax port. Now, once we move this way a little bit, you'll notice that there is a little battery and no battery. That's because the unit has a place to install four AA batteries that will allow you for emergency backup. So if you needed to use this system in an emergency, grab a four AA's, stick them in, and you've got about an hour of service to be able to use uh, this Tellular on just some AA batteries. And then finally, you have your power plug, which is right here. And there's a power adapter that comes with the unit. You simply plug the power adapter in. And you'll notice it, uh, it's right there. All right, now if we want to zoom out, we'll go ahead and get a look at the, the unit itself. Now, if you notice, there's indicator lights here. Now, this unit is in the process of booting up. We have our uh, service indicator here, which is telling us we have three bars of service. Uh, there is possibly up to four bars and you'll see this go up and down based on the signal coverage just as you would as a handheld cell phone. Now since we don't have a phone attached we're not going to actually have anything here. This would be our voicemail message if we have a message waiting and this is our battery status. Now uh, since we have it plugged in it's going to always be green. So one of the things we also want to do is go ahead and plug in our standard desk phone. So now if you want to go ahead and zoom out they'll be able to see we'll plug this in and we'll have this cellular unit working. So now, because no one's on the phone, we don't have anyone, uh, anything lit on the off-hook indicator. But if we go ahead and take this phone off-hook by going to speakerphone, you'll notice that the off-hook indicator will go ahead and come on. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit. Let's get everybody to see the off-hook indicator. Uh, 
Okay, as you see, I just put the I just put the phone on speakerphone, so you'll notice that the off hook indicator has come on, and that'll show you that uh, you're ready to make a call. Now you'll also hear the dial tone uh, as as you do now. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom out, and we'll go ahead and make a test call to our uh, receptionist at the front. So, and if you notice, this is just a standard everyday. Uh, regular desk phone, nothing special, nothing fancy. I could use a cordless phone. Uh, that's what's great about the SX5e is it's really not particular about what you plug in as long as it's a POTS phone, uh, just which is plain old telephone system. You plug it in. Uh, it has the ability to do faxing and SMS out of the device itself. So let's go ahead and call. Uh, I'll go ahead and dial the uh, number for our receptionist. And let's see how it sounds. Outside play, how may I help you? Hi, Amanda. How's this sound? Sounds great. As good as a landline? Sure does. All right. Well, hey, thank you for answering the phone and have a great day. You too. Bye bye. Bye. As you can see, we just made a phone call uh, using a cellular service on a regular desk phone. Now that has some great benefits for users. For example, if you don't have home phone service but do have a cell account with the Tellular SX5e GSM, merely add a line to your cellular service and get an extra SIM, plug it in, and you can, for $10 usually a month, go ahead and add an extra line of service so you can use that as your home phone. Plug it into your inside wiring and you're set to go. Now one of the things to keep in mind is that with the Tellular, you do need to have GSM service. This uh, SX5e does require active GSM connection. If not, it, it just won't function. Now the faxing service is a little bit different. Uh, GSM services may or may not uh, support faxing across uh, different networks. Uh, this is because faxing is not as common on the GSM network. So one of the things you want to discuss with your service provider is, hey, do you support faxing? And if so, how do I get it implemented onto my SIM? Usually that's a service on the switch side that they will implement that will allow you to be able to receive fax calls. It usually involves using a separate number uh, that will be assigned to your, uh, to your SIM. Uh, SMS service can be uh, used through this device by adding a, a simple SMS software uh, and plugging it in through the serial port. You just set the COM port on your computer, uh, get the SS SMS application, something like uh, uh, Nexisoft's uh, SMS reader, and uh, plug that in and you'll be able to send SMS messages to any text phone. And if you're not familiar with SMS messages, that's your uh, text messaging. And it'll allow you to do it straight through the Tellular. So if you have a computer in your house, you can use it to send uh, SMS. Now this will do GPRS data, but uh, it's not the fastest in the world. And if you're interested in some kind of data connection, I would probably recommend that you go up to something like the Tellular SX7T, uh, which will give you a robust data connection. You can actually get the laptop data connection and your voice on the same SIM. Well, for outside supply, this is Chad discussing the Tellular SX, uh, SX5E uh, GSM fixed cell terminal. Thanks a lot and have a great day.